Good afternoon, welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Ty Campbell, from Bear Mount Arena, the Victoria Grizzlies playoff. Victoria Grizzlies, however, are not home until September 27th, but they're on the road this week. It's the Power Kings. That is our feature game. Also, we'll update you on uh, the rest of the scores of the second week. Also, our roaming reporter, Nick Bazner, has got an interview with Victor Adamo. That and so much more, you're currently watching BCHL Central. And it's now time to pass things over to our Game of the Week, the Power Kings versus Victoria Grizzlies on Friday night. We pick up the action in the later part of the first period where Victoria's mouth as Joe get an ugly goal, but it would be the only one in the first period. In the second period, more action by both sides. First, Jesse Schwartz would put one past Joan Emo, assisted by Jay Mackey and Chris Albertini. But with just in seconds, the Kings would retaliate with their first goal of the game, scored by Terman Gonzalez. And in the second period, in the power play, the triple threat would strike Leo to Jerry to Miles Fitzgerald to give the Grizzlies the 3 1 lead. And in the third period, Victoria's goaltender Nick Renner was a star kicking away 10 shots to get the victory 3 1, followed by some rough stuff after the buzzer. This was the game of the week. Nick Bauer with the opportunity to speak to Victor Adamo of the Surrey Eagles. Thanks, Charlie. I'm here with Victor Adamo of the Surrey Eagles. Victor, it's your first season in the BCHL. How are you getting adjusted to the West Coast? Uh, it's been great so far. Uh, season just started last weekend, but it's been smooth transition, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. And now, so you're taking over from Michael Santaguida, the guy who led the Surrey Eagles to the RBC Cup. Do you feel any of that pressure? Uh, no, not really. He's a good buddy of mine. He's the one who talked me to coming out here, actually. So we have a good relationship, and I don't know, he had nothing but good things to say. So he's he's one of the main guys that pursued my decision to come out here. And now, how is it working with the 16-year-old Bo De in his first year in junior A hockey? He's a great kid. He's uh, he soaks everything up like a sponge. He's like whatever I gotta say, he listens, and he doesn't really give me a hard time. He's always he's always there to help me out. And Victor, you got your first shutout over the weekend, also your first win with the Surrey Eagles. How does it feel to get that one out of the way? Yeah, it was definitely big. Uh, I was really excited going to that game. Had a lot, of, a lot of nerve and felt good to get out of the way. Good start and hopefully keep it going from there. And do you find there's any differences from the OJHL and the BCHL? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I like it better out here so far, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I was down in the USHL for a bit at the beginning of last year, and it's really comparable to that. All right, thank you so much, Victor. Good luck with the rest of the season. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Back to you, Tally.
As many probably know, the Vernon Vipers are hosting the RBC Cup this year. During the BCHL Bauer Showcase, I had the opportunity to speak to events manager Don Klepp. Take a look. I'm Joey John Klepp, the events manager of the RBC Cup. What is the RBC Cup? It's the National Junior A Hockey Championship. It's the championship of about 125 teams or so who play in 10 Junior A leagues across Canada. So five teams get together each year in May to uh, challenge for the national championship title. And of course, the BCHL is hosting this year the Vernon Vipers, correct? That's right. And what is the date of this event? May 10th to 18th. May 10th to 18th, 2014. And we talked a little bit off camera about what's happening and you guys are bringing more of a fan experience this year. Can you explain a little bit? Well, one of the things that we've noticed uh, as fans uh, being at previous RBC Cups, you know, the Vipers were in the 2009 final, the 2010 final, the 2011 final. So uh, our fans have had a fair amount of experience being at these events. And there were some things that they liked at all of these events, but they also felt there was a lot of downtime and they would have liked to have been involved more in the community, had more activities, not necessarily planned for them, but available to them in the community. So we're doing a lot to help fans become engaged in the community. As you know, the Okanagan, the North Okanagan where Vernon is, has a lot of, of uh, activities available. Uh, there's uh, even a bit of skiing available uh, up high uh, at Silver Star Mountain if they want to go up top. Hiking, geocaching, fly fishing, golfing, wine tours, you name it, it's all available there. So we're going to have a concierge service for visitors to help them get in touch with all these different kinds of activity. So basically, to sum that up, basically, so if my team from the Manitoba Junior Hockey League makes it in and I want to go watch my team, I'm not even going to watch hockey, I'm going to get the entire experience of British Columbia and Vernon. Really what we're calling it is a hockey tournament wrapped within a vacation package. So come to the Okanagan, it's beautiful in the spring, the weather is usually pretty darn good in May there. Uh, come to the Okanagan, have a wonderful time, and while you're there, watch some good hockey. Fantastic, I know we're, we're quite a ways away from the events, but in terms of community stuff, what are you guys looking for? Probably sponsors, volunteers? We have most of the volunteers that we need. Wow, great. Uh, but if other people want to volunteer and come from other communities, we have uh, a couple of people coming from Surrey to volunteer. We have someone coming from North Van, who's coming to volunteer. We have volunteers coming from other parts of the Okanagan as well. So if they want to do that, they're welcome, very definitely. Uh, of course, an event like this is very expensive to put on. So we do need sponsor partners. And so if there are organizations, if there are corporations, businesses who see an opportunity to get the word out, they can do so in conjunction with this event. They're, for example, we all the hockey games, all the, all the 12 games leading up to the final are televised by Fast Hockey and then TSN covers the final game on Championship Sunday. So there are opportunities there to get national exposure and international exposure because the Fast Hockey games are, are broadcast via the internet. So there are opportunities there. We will work with potential sponsors to make sure that there's lots of value for them in being a partner of an event like this. Uh, and lastly, John, how can someone get in contact with this tournament? Well, there are two main ways at the moment that, that are easy ways to, to find out more. You can go to the, Vi the Vernon Viper website. So that's vipers.bsd.ca. Or they can go to Hockey Canada's website that's been set up for the RBC Cup. The easiest way to find that is simply to Google 2014 RBC Cup and I think it's the first item that comes up on Google it takes you directly to that site. You can learn a lot more about the history of the cup. You can learn about Vernon's uh, participation in the cup. Uh, one thing we haven't mentioned by the way is that the Vipers have the most appearances at the national final championship, nine, and the most wins, six. And it's one of only two teams to have won back-to-back -back championships. It, Vipers have done it twice. The Prince Albert Raiders, when they were a Junior A team, did that once as well. So there's lots of history there. And we're going to celebrate that history, but also the history of hockey in this country, because next year, 2014, is the 100th anniversary of the CAHA slash Hockey Canada. So we're going to celebrate the hockey history as well. Wow, so many neat facts. Uh, you know, if you want to learn more, like he said, search on Google uh, RBC Cup 2014. Thank you, Don. You're welcome. Take care. 
Thank you for watching this edition of BCHL Central. For all your local sports needs, keep it right here locked to www.vsbn.ca or follow us on Twitter at BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Cowan, for Nick Bazzer and Chris Munz, Micklin, and Bill Stewart. Have yourself a fantastic night. See you guys all next week.